you noticed how Secretary of Homeland Security Mayorkas has on more than one occasion used his family's Jewish heritage as some kind of a shield against valid criticisms of his disastrous handling of the border? Perhaps he doesn't know my own background. Perhaps he does not know that I am the child of a Holocaust survivor. I don't care! My mother lost her paternal grandparents and seven uncles by reason of their Jewish faith in the Holocaust. The first time he did it, I was kind of blown away. Then I remembered, of course the media is going to back him up on this. And they did. And he's continued doing it. You may also remember Mayorkas, Biden, Kamala, and the media all claiming that there was no crisis at all at the border for three years. It is my testimony that the border is secure. The border is secure. Uh, the border is closed. The border is secure. The border is secure and the border is not open. We have a secure border. The president saying today that the border is not secure and Secretary Mayorkas is saying under oath to Congress that it is. Here's what I will say. Secretary Mayorkas has done everything. Um, Up until recently when they're finally admitting there's a crisis, but of course it's the Republicans' fault. Well, that brings us back to Mayorkas and the failed attempt to impeach him for essentially allowing an invasion of our border. But unfortunately, the Republicans suck and suck and so there was no impeachment, but the attempt to do so was, of course, racist, says the Democrat minority dead-eyed speaker, Extreme Hakeem. When you talk about impeachment, a White House official pointed out that uh, in the impeachment report, it says, quote, the committee, through these articles of impeachment, begins the process of deporting Secretary Mayorkas from his position. Uh, you know, I think it's not subtle, the fact that Secretary Mayorkas is the first immigrant uh, from his family to serve as a, 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 D, a DHS secretary. Oh! Um, when you hear that, what do you think? Well, it's outrageous and it's consistent with the type of xenophobic rhetoric that extreme mega Republicans in this town have become known for utilizing and deploying. Certainly that's been the case uh, since 2015. He's got lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eye. No, what's consistent is the total and utter corruption of CNN, who act as an extension of the Democrat Party and on behalf of a government that they're supposed to be a check on. The hack host of this segment, who I won't even say his name, joins an unelected government official of a department that was born out of 9-11 and the fear the government stoked out of that. And the laying up a fellow Democrat to not only excuse what I find to be the treasonous actions of Mayorkas, but to attack his critics of being xenophobic racists. Of course. Thereby insulating the government official from valid scrutiny and punishing anybody who doesn't fall into line. Yeah, yeah, that's totally what the free press is supposed to do. And they're totally not the enemy of the people. I'm picking up your sarcasm. And just so we're clear about the lie that extreme Hakeem there tried to pass off about there being no opposition mass illegal immigration before MAGA Republicans in 2015, except of course for Bill Clinton, Joe Biden, and Barack Obama, known extreme MAGA Republicans. Not only in the states most heavily affected, but in every place in this country are rightly disturbed by the large numbers of illegal aliens entering our country. It makes sense that no great nation can be in a position where they can't control their borders. It matters how you control your borders, not just for immigration, but it matters for drugs, terror, a whole range of other things. You simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked, and circumventing the line of people who are waiting patiently, diligently, and lawfully uh, to become immigrants in this country. Oh, that was different. So yeah, just another reason not to trust a damn thing you hear from these ghouls. Remember, Joe Biden and Mayorkas are on video openly admitting that they want to see a quote, unrelenting flow of migrants in order to replace white people as the majority. And we know they want to do that because they think turning red states blue will then give them permanent control in a one party state without opposition. What do you think? Am I right or am I completely out of my mind? Let me know in the comments or find me on Discord and you can can tell me personally. Also, check out my Patreon while you're at it, and you can get special Discord access to live streams and hangouts. That's all I have for now, so hit that like button and make sure to check out the rest of my videos.